Shalom. Welcome back to uh, Karim Biavna. The Sefer HaChinuch writes in Mitzvah Tafresh Gimel that women are exempt from the Mitzvah of Zechirat Masa Amalek, a Mitzvah that Bezrat Hashem will fulfill this uh, uh, Shabbos with the reading of Parshas Zohar. Why women exempt? He writes that women are lav benot melchama, and hence they're not obligated to wage war against Amalek, and therefore they're also exempt from the mitzvah of zichirat masa Amalek. The Minchas Chinuch writes that he thinks that uh, perhaps the Sefer Chinuch is incorrect, because after all, the Chinuch is making two assumptions, both of which, says the Minchas Chinuch, are questionable. Number one, the Sefer HaChinuch is assuming that women are exempt from the mitzvah of Mechiyat Amalek. Says the Minchas Chinuch, is that necessarily the case? After all, the Mishnah says in Sota, with respect to Mochemes Mitzvah, Afilu Chatan Mechadro, Hakol Yotzim, Afilu Chatan Mechadro, V'chala Mechupata. So women, perhaps, they're Chayav in the mitzvah of Mechiyat Amalek. Furthermore, who told the Sefer HaChinuch, asks the Minchas Chinuch, that these two mitzvot of Zechirat Masa Amalek and Mechiyat Amalek go together. Perhaps they're independent and even if somebody is patur from Mechiyat Amalek, they're still chayav in the mitzvah of Zechirat Masa Amalek. So we have a machlokes between the Chinuch on one hand and the Minchas Chinuch on the other as to whether the mitzvot of Zechira and Maaseh go together, that's the Chinuch, or are somewhat independent, that's the Minchas Chinuch. This Machlokas has additional halachic nafkaminos, which we won't go into. If we do assume that these mitzvot are independent, then what would be the nature of the mitzvah of Zechirat Masa Amalek? So there's a Yalkut Shimoni. The Yalkut indicates that Moshe Rabbeinu, after 40 years in the desert, wanted to remind the Jewish people that they sinned when they said, Hayesha Hashem Berkerbeinu Yim Ayin. But Moshe Rabbeinu didn't want to remind them explicitly because this would cause them embarrassment. Rather, he hinted to them that they had sinned. Mashal, says the Yalkut, to a king that had a beautiful orchard, a friend of the king improperly entered that orchard and the guard dog came and bit the pants of that friend. Many years later, when the king wanted to remind the friend of the importance of staying in line, he didn't want to embarrass the friend by reminding him, by reminding the friend that he improperly entered the orchard. So the king just told him, remember that wild dog? So according to Yalkud, it would appear that the rationale for the mitzvah of Zechirat Masa Amalek is to remember that when we sin, there are plenty of wild dogs out there that are more than happy to come and punish us. So you have two perspectives on Zechirat Masa Amalek. Either something which encourages us to fulfill the mitzvah of Mechiyat Amalek, or Zechirat Masa Amalek as a mitzvah to remind us that when we sin, then uh, the punishment very often is not very far away. This might also impact how we understand the phrase, Va'ata ayef v'yagev lo yorei elokim. Rashi understands lo yorei elokim refers to Amalek. That would fit with the approach of the Sefer HaChinuch that the Torah wants to encourage us to wage war against Amalek. However, according to the Yalkut, it could be that one might explain Lo Yorei Elokim refers to the Jewish people. These two approaches, that of the Chinuch and of the Yalkut, in understanding the mitzvah of Zechira, are certainly not mutually exclusive. In fact, one might say they complement each other. The mitzvah of Zechira, according to the Sefer HaChinuch, is one which has to do with encouraging us to eradicate the Amalek on in the world in general. The mitzvah of Zechira, according to the Yalkut, has to do with our seeing to it to get rid of the Amalek within. The enemy, the Yetzirah, within. And in fact, one might suggest that before we are ready, or in order to prepare us to get rid of, uh, to make us worthy of being able to get rid of the Amalek and the world around us, we first need to see to it to uh, get rid of the Amalek to banish the evil that's within us. Once we do so, once we perfect ourselves, we'll be able to go out and perfect the world and eventually reach the time at which
Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Shabbos.